This is a continuation of our escapades in South Wales. From England to Tenby and from Tenby to Cardiff. I'm in Cardiff, in the south of Wales, doing the city sightseeing pop on, pop off tour. If you're interested to see what I get up to, watch this vlog to the end. Right now, I just purchased my ticket, which cost me about 14 pounds, and it's valid for 24 hours. So that means I can embark on my tour today and tomorrow. They also give you a guide. So you just need to find out what it's all about and headphones where you get to listen to commentary and you get an overview of all the historical sites or any sites of significance that you pass through during the tour. So if you're interested to see more, tune in. Avid travelers will tell you that the best way to explore a city is to make use of the hop-on, hop-off sightseeing bus tours. It enables you to get a quick overview of a city when your time there is limited. These kind of tours will take you to the iconic places and landmarks as well as enlighten visitors on the history and life facts of the city. The bus tour company will avail you with an audio guide. The audio guide will give you a summary of all the places you're going to visit on the tour. You'll also get a map with all the stops on your journey listed. Right now, we're looking at Cardiff Castle. This is the pickup point for the Cardiff sightseeing bus tours. You can't miss it. Shortly on the right, we're going to see the Prince of Wales Theatre. The Prince of Wales Theatre is a former theatre in central Cardiff. Built in 1878, seating 2,800, it later became a sex cinema. It is now a pub. We are just about to turn into St. Mary Street. St. Mary Street is a major commercial street in the castle quarter of Cardiff city centre, Wales, which form a major through fair running south from the gatehouse of Cardiff Castle. The St. Mary Street area is almost certainly the most diverse within the city centre and is heavily influenced by events at the Millennium Stadium. The area also encompasses a large concentration of food and drink outlets that affect the area's character day and night. Generally, during the daytime, the area performs a shopping mall. However, financial institutions tend to dominate, but during the night, the area becomes more vibrant, transformed by cafes, bars, restaurants and takeaway establishments.
On the left is the BBC Roth Block Drama Village. It has produced popular productions such as Doctor Who and the Hospital TV series Casualty. Diversity in Cardiff was influenced by shipping, mining, international students and emigration. On the left is the Norwegian church. We're looking at the Wales Millennium Center. On the front of this building is the inscription in Welsh, which is translated in English to mean, truth is as clear as glass, forged in the flames of inspiration.
This is the face of a merchant seafarer lost to the sea. The merchant seaman's memorial in Cardiff Bay is in the form of a sleeping face fused with the ship's hull, made by riveting plates of metal together. In memory of the merchant seafarers from the port of Barry Penarth, Cardiff, who died in times of war. May their souls rest in peace. This is the end of day one of the Hop On Hop Off sightseeing tour. If you need a little retail therapy, visit St. David's Cardiff. Day 2 of the Cardiff Sightseeing Bus Tour If you're a lover of art and history, I recommend that you drop off at the last stop of the tour at the National Museum of Wales. You need an average of about two and a half hours to appreciate what they have in the exhibit.
travel expert and this is just a summary of how we spent our time in Cardiff. I hope my summary has given you a rough idea of what Cardiff is like. Thank you for watching.